In this lesson and in the ones to follow, we will focus on planning a trump game and learn new techniques relevant to this type of game. A trump game gives the declarer a significant advantage as opposed to a no trump game. The roughing power gives the declarer confidence. For example, the declarer can halt the opponent's attack in a particular suit in which he lacks cards by playing a card from the trump suit. This action is known as roughing. But even before we dive into the different techniques in a trump game, it's important to focus on planning the game. In previous lessons, we learned that in a no trump game, the declarer needs to count his sure tricks, and if he discovers that he is missing tricks, he needs to find ways to generate them. In a trump game, it is of course possible to count tricks, but it is much easier to count losers. What or who are the losers? The losers are those cards with which the declarer will not be able to win a trick, or in other words, tricks he will be forced to lose. In a trump game, the losers are the real enemy of the declarer, so the objective is first to identify them and then to minimize them. In this example, we are the declarer seated in south and playing a trump contract where the trump suit is hearts. In the spade suit, we have two small cards. It is obvious that we cannot win with these cards, so they will presumably lose. This being the case, we could assume that we have two losers in spades. But hey, haven't we forgotten something? Or better still, someone? Bridge is a game played in pairs. So after our partner in dummy displays his cards, we can examine his hand to get the full picture. In this example, to our good fortune, we see the dummy has two cards, one of which is the ace. The situation has now changed. The ace, which will win the trick, cancels out one of our losers. So now, instead of two losers which we counted at the beginning, we have but one. By the way, if Dummy had the ace and the king, we wouldn't have had any losers at all, as both the ace and the king would win the tricks and cancel out our losers. So, one shouldn't rush and jump to conclusions. In order to determine the accurate number of losers, we need to examine the situation of each suit in both hands, that of the declarer and that of Dummy. Let's take another example. We are the declarer seated in south, and the contract is four hearts, meaning we have to win ten tricks, bearing in mind that the trump suit is hearts. This is the status of the diamond suit in both the declarer and dummy's hands. How many losers can we count in this suit? Let's check. In south, we have two small cards. Does this mean that we have two losers in this suit? We just learned that we also need to examine our partner's hand in dummy. However, we see that in dummy, we have five small cards. Hmm, that's confusing. It's obvious that dummy cannot help us to cancel out our two losers. So perhaps we should count five losers and not two? In order to resolve this issue, we will adopt a simple rule. Before we count our losers, we must determine a dominant hand which will be our anchor to determine the number of potential losers. So how do we determine the dominant hand? It's actually quite simple. The hand with the most cards in the trump suit will become the dominant hand. We can also refer to it as the long hand in trump. Therefore, in order to determine which will be the dominant hand, we need to examine the status of the trump suit in both hands. So let's now add the other suits and examine the full picture. The trump suit is hearts, and it is easy to see that in south, we have five cards in the suit, as opposed to only three in dummy. This being the case, we can determine that the dominant hand, or the long hand, in trump, is our hand in south, our anchor. Let's now count the losers in all the suits. In spades, we have three cards in the dominant hand, two of which will win tricks and the small card will presumably lose. But let's remember that in order to get the full picture, we need to also examine Dummy's hand 
and we are pleased to discover a queen which will win a third trick and cancel out the remaining potential loser so in fact we have three tricks and no losers in hearts the trump suit we already saw that there are five cards in the dominant hand among them the ace queen and ten but we are missing the king and the jack that said we are delighted to find them in dummy so basically in both hands we are holding all five high cards in the suit and therefore we don't have losers in hearts either earlier we contemplated as to how to count the losers in the diamond suit should we count two losers or five losers as the number of cards in dummy however now that we know that the dominant hand is our hand in south it is clear that we should count only two losers in the suit and finally in clubs we hold three cards in the dominant hand one of which is the ace which will obviously win a trick no help from dummy so we need to count two losers in the suit as well in all we have counted four losers two in diamonds and two in clubs if we have four losers this means that we only have nine tricks but let's remember that in order to make the contract we have to win ten tricks or in other words we can only afford three losers what can we do we will learn how to resolve this later meanwhile we'll continue to focus on counting losers so let's take a look at another example once again we are the declarer seated in south but this time the contract is two spades meaning we need to win eight tricks bearing in mind that the trump suit is spades in order to be able to plan the game strategy we first need to count losers and to do this we must first determine which is the dominant hand it is plain to see that we in south have more trump cards in spades so this then will be the dominant hand from which to count the potential losers now let's start counting in spades the trump suit we have five cards in the dominant hand one of which is the ace does this mean we have four losers of course not as together with dummy we have all the high cards except for the queen therefore in practice we have only one potential loser in hearts we have three cards in the dominant hand one of which is the ace can we count two losers certainly as there is no help coming from dummy in this suit in diamonds we have three cards in the dominant hand one of which is the king without dummy we would have counted three losers as there is no certainty that we would win with the king however to our delight we have the ace in dummy and this absolutely changes the picture not only will the ace win but now the king becomes a winning card too so basically we only have one loser finally in clubs we have two small cards in the dominant hand with no help coming from dummy so we need to count two losers in the suit in all we have counted six losers this means that we only have seven tricks concluding that if we will not find a way to get rid of one of the losers we will not be able to make the contract as we need to win eight tricks let's summarize what we've learned in this lesson in a trump game as soon as dummy displays his cards we need to determine the dominant hand also called the long hand as in this hand there are more cards in the trump suit once we have determined the dominant hand we can examine the status of each suit in both hands to determine the number of losers we have in each suit and how many in total so if this principle is clear now we can move on to the next step in the next lessons we will review different techniques in trump games enabling us to minimize the number of losers we found so that we can make the contract even when the situation looks discouraging.